Texas is working toward making faster, more reliable internet service available throughout the state. Voters last year approved $1.5 billion to help push more projects forward. State leaders are still working out how to distribute those resources to areas seeking help to expand broadband service. And even though money is available, there are still challenges. In central Texas, Blanco County is like many rural areas, striving to expand broadband. Uh, Blanco used to be kind of a black hole of fiber. It was one of the only counties in central Texas that didn't have any fiber connectivity until about 10 years ago. The county is now partnering with a local broadband provider in hopes of getting a federal grant worth more than $4 million to build out more broadband. But navigating that process can be complex. So there's a lot of moving pieces here uh, that have to come together simultaneously to make sure that an area can be awarded and eligible for funding. That is a frustration shared Thursday by Texas leaders who help dole out broadband funding. The federal government has sometimes been sluggish in their approval process and even been ambiguous at times, sometimes at the 11th hour, which has delayed us from deploying these funds with their prescribed timelines. The state is still working out how to distribute its own broadband resources approved by Texas voters. We want to do what's right for Texas as we navigate these critical deadlines. While there is more money that could potentially make its way to places like Blanco County, Local leaders there say they're committed to finally bringing improved internet service. So we're looking at all options, but, but it's critical, but uh, help is on the way. A Texas congressman is now part of an effort to streamline funding and improve broadband access to underserved communities. This week, U.S. Representative August Fluger introduced the Protocol Act. His district includes rural areas in the Hill Country and West Texas. Fluger worked with Michigan Democrat Debbie Dingell to in introduce the legislation. Both members note that the government funds more than 130 broadband programs, but they say there is little coordination when awarding billions of dollars in grants. Fluger told us this legislation would improve the mapping process for broadband funding and enhance interagency coordination when awarding grants. The congressman said the goal is so federal funding can be directed to close the digital divide while preventing wasteful spending. Thank you all again for joining us here on State of Texas. I'm Will Dupree. We'll be back next week to bring you an in-depth look at Texas politics.